3 d printing's been around for a little while, but uh, you know, it really hasn't been explored much in map making and cartography. A lot of the people who are using 3D printing right now are map making hobbyists, basically. But the maps that are being put out right now weren't necessarily cartographically accurate to representative standards. And so what we wanted to do was we wanted to kind of take this technology and figure out how it can be applied to mapping, uh, you know, from the perspective of a cartographer, from the perspective of a map maker. Andy and I got together with the uh, GIS manager, Scott Zubak, over at the department of GIS and at the Tyga Courthouse there. Um, we uh, basically discussed getting grant monies that were available for uh, the printer. Um, so that's kind of evolved into now that we have it, you know, how can we apply this? Um, so we've, we've basically been trying to engineer projects that we get the students involved in. The, the way the basic 3D printer that we have works is that it um, basically has a, a monofilament type polymer that is spooled. Um, and it's spooled into the, basically, uh, it's called an extruder, but it's basically a hot glue gun almost, if you will. If you uh, push the material in, it heats up at a certain temperature, and then it sprays it. Uh, but the, it has a platform in the 3D printer that basically um, will move up and down as it builds that model. So the extruder will pass back and forth, and it's on a, a Z-axis where it'll actually move around. Um, but the, the uh, platform will move up and down. So as we're creating this model, it creates it in, in that third dimension by moving uh, the platform up and down. So it's really pretty simplistic in, in it, the way that it works. Um, most of the, the technicality is in producing the image uh, that's necessary and getting it in the correct form to get it into the machine. You know, we've gotten down the process of taking geospatial data that's downloaded from you know USGS and turning it into a map like this in about you know, 20 minutes. I mean, that's how long it takes. I mean, that's that's pretty quick. Um, with that in mind, okay, so that that's nice and short and quick, but then the map takes between 40 and 60 hours to print. Uh, the first maps uh, would be the the Grand Canyon. The desktop software will tell you it takes roughly 44 hours, but it's probably uh, 10 or more hours than that. We have a, a, a data share agreement with the GIS department for the county, and we take the, the contours that they, they provide us with and we turn it into a, a digital elevation model. We put that into a 3D modeling program and displace a plane by it, and it creates this kind of map, and we export it as a STL, and then we put that into the MakerBot desktop software and uh, tell it to print. We're looking at projects like uh, mapping sinkholes, um, trying to come up with models of caves, uh, things of that nature. The maps that we're making are generally far more detailed, they're far more precise in how they represent landforms uh, than similar maps of this type, raised relief maps that you can buy from, uh, from a company uh, or from the government. We're wanting to basically use it as a, a geo-visualization process for um, applying to these research projects that we already have underway. 